Hey guys, Jay Cross here. Want to do the review of the new units that came out with patch 4.5, and that is the new naval units. Uh, I'm going to do them kind of individually, starting off with the nano units, so help you guys make a decision where to buy, whether to buy them or not. Um, you can get uh, this unit as soon as you rank your um, your shipyard up to rank two. Then you pretty much can build all the unit naval units that are available. Uh, so it's not very long into the missions where you can start uh, building units. Um, I want to look at each of these shots, show you just real quick stats. I know some of you guys don't care about the stats. Uh, you can go on Battle Nations Wiki for those. Uh, but I uh, just want to show you the offense in each attack real quickly. So the first one we're going to look at here, which uh, these come rank up at rank 5 depending on your level, um, is the broadside attack damage 200 to 303 damage this first attack at rank 5 this guy is going to have an offense of 78 which is pretty decent a 15% crit 90% crit against aircraft which means it hits uh, which is uh, crit against aircraft which is strange because it's showing it doesn't hit any uh, it doesn't hit any aircraft so so um, anyway we're looking uh, to do between 200 and 300 damage uh, it does a, it's a negative crit chance when it's attacking subs, obviously, because it's harder to get to those guys. So let's look at this first shot here, which hits a pretty broad uh, spectrum of the board. Let's let's go into this attack here. You can move this uh, block around, and I'm going to try hit everything here. Uh, that was pretty nice. Uh, okay, so that was the first attack. The second attack, which does this little uh, little pattern here, I won't be able to hit all the units on the board. Um, but the second turret attack is the bombard, and it does 147 to 199 times two damage. I wonder if that means times two on each of these squares, or if it just does random damage uh, on different places. Let's look at that turret shot. At rank five, it's going to do a little less offense: 63, 10% crit, and crits against aircraft. Oh look, see this shot does show it hits air, but the first one, it's saying it doesn't. So I'm not sure if that's uh, just uh, incorrect data, which I don't know. We'll have to find that out. So here we go, this second shot. Love the sound effects. Uh, pretty decent. All right, this third attack here, which looks like it does center damage and then has a little bit of splash damage to the side, which is the M12 gun, so 49 times, uh, 49 to 84 times 3 damage with a cooldown of 3. Let's look at that attack real quickly. Uh, okay. Uh, says it can hit planes. 100% crit chance against aircraft. So they've tried to build into these units uh, a lot of anti-air defenses, which is nice. 20% crit against uh, other uh, type units uh, that we see there. So, all right, let's see the shot in action. In action. I like to fix the gun's turn. Now this is just a little bitty gunboats. You get two options, and you can actually buy and upgrade uh, this depth charge here. You can upgrade this for 25 nanopods. And it can't do lots in battle, uh, but it'll give you a third attack, uh, which does um, not too bad damage. So I may upgrade that later. Uh, this guy needs to wait, so let's just pass. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Not going to die anytime soon because this ship is, is pretty strong. 775 health after taking some hits. I think it was 800 and something when it started. All right, we've got this attack, which should clear the board here. Boom. Got a massive crit there and sunk all the ships. All right. And it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the 3XSP weekend. Uh, so there you go. That's uh, there's that unit. Let me. If you don't, if you do like the stats, then uh, hang on. If you don't, then uh, you can check out and make your decisions uh, whether you think that unit is worthwhile buying. Um, at rank five, it has uh, a total of 895 health, which is nice. Uh, defenses are a little low. It's not going to dodge uh, much of anything. 
uh, three ability shots, which stays the same. Ranking this guy up is not going to be too difficult. Maybe at rank eight will be a little more challenging. Um, let's look at the heal now. Advanced level 10 is going to take an hour and 48 minutes, almost two hours. Very, very minor resources uh, there. So it takes eight hours to build and 55 nanopods. Let's look at its, um, you can see its defenses stats here. Uh, notice that the categories are, are separate for armor and, and health. So it gives you a little more resistance uh, to the armor. Uh, but then you lose some of that with the health. Uh, so I like that nice breakdown. You can go to Battle Nations Wiki to see that update uh, there. So anyway, there's the battle, the battleship cl mammoth class uh, ship, which is pretty cool. I'll be doing uh, the submarine next and uploading that for you guys. All right, uh, leave a comment below on what you think about this unit, and I think it's going to be useful. Um, just not quite sure where all the naval stuff is going to go with Battle Nations, so uh, I wouldn't go crazy mass producing these units until you see a need for it, because um, you just don't know. It may, this The whole naval thing may just be kind of like uh, just something a little extra to do, um, but who knows where it's going to go. Uh, only Z2 and, and how, whether people like it or not. All right, guys. Peace out.